The first thing that I'd love to point out is the earlier that you start, the better. The earlier that you start with your skeletal muscle mass reserve, just like bone density, the better. And that means there's a lot of myths out there that children cannot have structured training or even play training, but that's not true. Starting early is key. If you are not young listening to this podcast, which I, I don't expect you to be, um, you know, four or five listening to this podcast, think about your children. They should be moving. They should be very active. You begin to build the skeletal muscle mass reserve when you are younger and you are still growing. And when I say younger, depending on when you stop growing, 18, 15, 17, 18, typically by 30, you're done growing. This is prime time muscle building. And then even 30s, 40s, you're still absolutely, again, always able to build skeletal muscle. This is a long-winded way of saying, put as much emphasis on hypertrophy training. Again, this is my opinion. Put as much emphasis on hypertrophy training as you can when you are younger. So if there's college students listening to this or younger adults, do it now. And just say what hypertrophy is for most people who have Hypertrophy heard that is what you're really looking for is an adaptation. You're looking to increase uh, cross-sectional size. You're looking to increase the size of your skeletal muscle. And why do you want to do that? Again, healthy skeletal muscle is this primary site for metabolism. And it is your body armor. If you get injured, the body will pull from these amino acids. So again, it's growth. That's what you're looking for. Just, Different just than strength. Yeah. Just speak to the 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 women who will inevitably be concerned with becoming too big and bulky. Never. How, how tall am I? How, how tall am I, Ari? Uh, what are you? Five six? Five five? Five one. Are you with really? A big attitude. With a big <laughs> attitude. Maybe I've seen you in high heels. Yeah, big attitude. I, I have a thing where I never notice people's height for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, well, I appreciate that. And I joke because I'm 5'1", 110 pounds, and I have been training very hard and heavy my whole life. I, again, am 110 pounds, and I eat a lot of protein. I eat one gram per pound, ideal body weight. It is nearly impossible to become bulky. And I often wonder, is that a distraction because women often are very uncomfortable lifting weights. When you go to the gym, you often see them on the cardio machine. You do not see them in the weight room pounding out reps or doing um, deadlifts or squats. I believe that that's changing, but as of right now, traditional ways of training um, seem to be more cardiovascular. We did talk about how important that is from a heart health and mitochondrial uh, aspect. But again, when we're talking about health and longevity, we have to focus on resistance training. We discussed these type one fibers, which are the smaller cross-sectional areas that you can train them up during endurance. And then these type two fibers that are fast twitch and they're bulky. As individuals age and lose hormone status and become less active, there is a loss of these type two fibers. Maintaining these type two fibers are critical. They are critical for force production. They are critical critical for um, strength. And when you age, you want to be as mobile and as capable as possible. And that is why strength training three days a week, that's where I would start. And I, I cover all of this in my book. I actually could never be a fitness influencer, Ari, because I shot 80 to 100 videos of how to do proper exercises with weights, with bands, uh, with body weight. Um, so I definitely- You were could sick not. of it by, by the end of it? Like, how do people do this? This is very difficult. <laughs> I've done, um, I did it years ago as well. So uh, resistance training is very well established from um, this interventional aspect of maintaining the health of skeletal muscle. Non-negotiable, three days a week, 10 sets. Let's talk about, does it have to be heavy or does it, can it be light? Can I, can I say one thing before we go? Yes, there? In, in all my years of training just how many at least like 20 years right well no i mean as far as physical training 20 i started when i was 13 i just turned 40 so congratulations 27 years of training um the it so but in all my years of being a trainer and working with clients there was only one one girl that i ever saw who had a problem of getting too muscular and she was a genetic freak. 
she was of like South Pacific Islander descent. She was naturally just very, very thick, like broad shoulders. She had like tree trunks for legs. And I trained her for a couple of years and she actually got like, she would grow muscle so fast. I was like, man, I wish I could grow muscle like you. I like, I'm, you I'm really jealous that yeah. we, we have to, you have the problem of growing too much muscle. You're the only female I've ever seen in my life who has that problem. The only female ever. Yeah. Chances are exactly individual is not that yeah. so ladies do not worry about this this is going to be your biggest beauty investment is going mm -hmm. to be training your skeletal muscle and you're not training it the truth is you're not training it to look good mm -hmm. i mean that's a side effect of it but you're training it for the potential of cancer protection for um neuroprotection for metabolic protection you are training to be there for your family and that's what you have to understand. Do you have to lift heavy versus light? I'm gonna give you what the science says. The science says that as long as you are going to um, a certain amount of volume and fatigue that you could lift light and do 50 reps of a lighter weight. But here's what I will tell you. You can start there, but I eventually want, you can start with body weight. You can start with sitting down and standing up depending on where you are in the spectrum of your activity. I will say that you will then progress from body weight to bands. I cover all this in the book. Then I want you lifting weights. And here's why I want you lifting weights. You are not lifting weights to be better at exercising. You are lifting weights to be better at life. I want you to be able to do a kettlebell carry because how much do your groceries weigh? I want you to be able to hold something up overhead, a kettlebell and walk overhead or a weight and walk overhead. I want you to practice for real life and practicing for real life means developing the physical capacity before you need it. And that is a very critical aspect in this conversation of longevity. While the science could show, can you get hypertrophy? Yes. Do you also need to, ch to train in um, multiple planes of motion to be able to twist and grab something and pick something up? Yes. And you need to be able to move weights in space. 